Hello everybody! Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing another favorites video. Uh, I actually did not do one for December. December just flew by really really fast and I just completely forgot to do one. So today we're gonna do a January favorites and I have a few actual items but I feel like for January it's been cold here and it's been about staying inside and staying warm and so I have a lot of media favorites from just hanging out in my room and not doing a whole lot of things so without further ado let's get going uh, so the first thing that we're gonna go with here is actually this lovely sweater that is on my body this is our first thing this sweater here was also featured recently by Pixie Locks. It's really, really long. I'm just wearing my pajama pants now, but uh, yeah, it can pretty much be worn as a sweater or as a dress. Really big, comfy, and warm. This sweater is from WC, W Heart C. You don't say the heart, WC. I purchased it um, in store just this version. I would love to still get my hands on the cardigan version, but I haven't gotten around to that yet. But I've been living in this sweater. I It's super, super comfy, super big. I feel like a freaking plush rainbow in it. And yeah, the only thing that I don't like about it is that my actual winter jacket is not quite big enough. So it's really hard to wear this sweater and the jacket at the same time. So I wear it a lot around the house and not as much when I'm going out of the house just because it's hard to put my jacket over top. Yeah, second thing that we're actually gonna talk about is another sweater. It is actually this here, this cardigan. And it's just pink and it's from Swimmer. And it has this freaking super cute little Miracle Moon logo on it. The buttons are stars is too too precious it has a little scallop detail all around the neck around the sleeves as well and around the bottom of the sweater this is so freaking versatile and I got this for like five dollars for freaking five dollars oh I'm so jazzed about it it is so good it is so comfy it works for so many outfits I would wear this every day I find I can use it for Lolita a lot. I can use it casually. I can dress it up a little bit. Um, but yeah, this guy here. Next one here is probably my, of the items, this, is, this item is my favorite of my favorites. This item I actually picked up for super, super cheap. And this, I don't know how well we're gonna be able to see this. This is the, Angelic Pretty Lovely Gingham, I believe it is. Lovely Gingham JSK. It is actually secondhand, it is damaged, but because of that, I got it for about $25. And I just, I couldn't refuse that, so I thought it was a really good staple piece to add to my wardrobe. It is from 2008, so it has the like old logo on there it's actually missing the right here it has the cross um, ribbons ties that cross around your neck around this part um, I really don't like those anyways so doesn't matter um, they, I just find them really really irritating and I would just tuck them in the dress anyways but looks like someone beat me to it and they cut them off the dress but yeah because of that I got it for super super cheap and last one here, as far as like fashion-y items go, is probably something you would have guessed. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can actually see this, it's probably too bright. Ooh. Um, it is this guy, it is the hat bag from Swimmer that I have been loving. Oh, look at that, there's some uh, pink colors in there. <laughs> um, but. Yeah, this, this one here again, which was in my swimmer haul recent video, and I've been getting a lot, a lot of use out of this. Again, just a nice little close-up on that guy. Really, really cute. Actually a decent size. 
for a small like novelty bag and yeah it's it's really nice I love that I can use it as both a backpack and a side bag so the next part that we have to go over is uh, anime movies TV shows so all media stuff I have been consuming a lot of media this month it has been wild so the first kind of category is going to be under anime and I haven't really been watching that much before January or even in the beginning parts of the month because there were a couple that I was really excited about that I wanted to watch that were coming out and I just don't like watching shows right from like right when they first start because I watch an episode and then I want to watch it all I just want to watch a whole bunch of it I want to binge watch um, but I just not able to do that because there's only a couple episodes but I did give in and I went and I watched as you could probably guess by the things in my background I went and watched Sanrio Danchi or Sanrio Boys uh, as it is in English it's so freaking cute ah, oh my god I just ugh, I have a lot of feelings um, when I first saw the announcement of this show I really didn't think that I was gonna like it I didn't think I wanted to watch it uh, what I actually thought it was gonna be is each like character each person was going to be the representation of that specific character so say for example um, like I would be the representation of Hello Kitty my character would be Hello Kitty um, but in boy form so I was like really not looking forward to it actually I thought it was gonna be dumb <laughs> um, and then I looked a little bit more into it and actually it looked pretty cute so I decided to wait decided to wait and I know a lot of people who were really really excited about it and really really loving it so I waited as I I waited as long as I could to actually go and watch it and I made it until just a couple days ago so this is a brand new love for me um, it, we're up to episode 4 right now I went and I watched all of them and oh my goodness I'm in love uh, the story is amazing the plot is actually super cute and I'm just I want to like gah. yeah my favorite character though by far is Mizuno Yu and he is the representation of my melody who is also happens to be my favorite Sanrio character he's very open about his love so his character is very outgoing and he has no problem that other people know what he likes and he's very you know love what you love don't be ashamed of what you love and I feel like that's such a thing for myself you know be yourself don't be afraid to dress crazy don't be afraid to be seen as weird by other people do what you love love what you do um, and so yeah that's something that I really love about his character and I don't want to give anything else away but the other characters are also really cute I'm actually really really loving the guy who likes Hello Kitty as well there is one other anime that I do actually recommend that I haven't heard people going crazy about it is also from this newest season and that ooh, yeah then that one is uh, 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 I had to write the name down because I'm gonna forget it so <laughs> it's kind of a long name it is Koi wa Ame Agari no Yo ni. essentially this show is really really silly to me at least um, so it's about a girl who works at uh, Gusto or they call it I believe they call it garden <laughs> um, in the in the show just because I can't have it the actual name but yeah she works at a family restaurant and she is a high school student and she is in love with her manager and her manager is a 45 year old man and he's kind of clueless and he's kind of clumsy and is just really funny because you know she is this serious girl and he thinks that she hates him she, he really thinks that she hates him and she is actually just so in love with him and it's kind of him trying to figure out how to deal with the situation um, and 
yeah, it's just, it's silly. Uh, I, I highly recommend checking that one out as well. I don't want to give out too much again, but it's cute. It's funny. Uh, he has a lot of silly reactions and stuff. And yeah, it's just kind of a nice, relaxing, silly watch. So I don't know as far as where the actual show is going to go. Because again, there is only four, three, four episodes out right now. Um, yeah, but that was the second one that I did have to recommend. So that is all for that category. Uh, last one is one that I have actually heard absolutely nobody talk about at all. And this is something that maybe people talked about previously because it was actually from 2016. But this is a Netflix favorite of mine and I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. It's Netflix exclusive, Netflix special, what do they call it? Um, but that is actually Troll Hunters. Tales of Arcadia and it is actually a children's TV show it is by DreamWorks and Gilmiro del Toro I'm sorry if I butchered his name I think that's how you say it though um, and yeah it's just a lot of fun I really like Gilmiro del Toro del Toro I like him I like his work um, DreamWorks is fun I love animated things I love not only Japanese animated TV shows but I love just animation as a whole animated movies kids movies and this one is just really a lot of fun to watch the main character who is an average high school boy i believe middle school high school boy and uh him and his best friend they're not cool kids of course and turns out that he gets accepted by this amulet to become a troll hunter now it is not all trolls most trolls are good but they also have another kind of troll who ear who are who ear who are bad and they're actually trying to take over the world essentially and he has to keep them at bay and make sure they do not escape and pretty much kill everyone um i've been slowly watching it watching a couple episodes every night or whatnot and i'm on part two of the series and i just finished episode three of that it's a lot of fun go check it out you're gonna love it if you like animated movies and shows and stuff. Tell me what your favorite TV show or movie you watched this month was and tell me why it's your favorite down in the comment section below. Uh, I want to check out some more things that you guys have been really loving and I think that's about it for today guys. Do not forget to click that subscribe button down below. Also click that bell to make sure that you're getting a notification when I post a video and give me a big old thumbs up on this video here. It helps me out a lot you guys and I really really do appreciate it. Yeah, so that's it for today guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.